Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, is we're gonna learn about how to use any task on iPhone. So for you to be able to use any task onto your iPhone, the first things first that we could do for this one is to download and install the app. So we need to head onto the app store for that one. So once you're already onto the app store, here onto the search bar, we're gonna go ahead and type in any task in here. So once you have typed in any task in here, you should be able to see onto the first part the any task remote desktop. So you'll need to install it if you haven't yet. So as you can see, I've installed already the app and we could see already some of its preview here onto its um, app store. So you could access it now. It has an intuitive usage, file transfer everywhere. So if you're actually not familiar with this just a quick overview that they provided here onto app store so this is a powerful remote assistant software so whether you're in the office next door or on the other side of the world remote access via any task makes the connection possible so this could secure and reliable for it professionals as well as private user so any task in here is ad free and free for personal use so whether you're in it support working from home or a student studying remotely then any task remote desktop software has a solution for you allowing you to connect to remote devices securely and seamlessly so quick start guide they provided that one in here also to install and launch it enter the any task id and confirm your request access and then you can now control the remote devices remotely so actually this is very easy to navigate and you could see that they have a 4.8 rating and it can be used by four plus year old and then it is number 108 in the utilities in the chart and the name of its developer is anita software and it is available onto english language and 27 plus more so for us to be able to begin we're gonna go ahead and launch the app so as you can see it will ask us to allow you to connect to devices onto your local networks and the notification so we're just gonna go ahead and try to click on to allow for this so that they can be configured onto your settings as well so once the installation is complete and we're already onto the app so when you open this you'll be assigned with a unique id so as you can see we have 1418405722 and this id is what you'll share with a person who will be remotely accessing your device so take note of your any desk id to share it with a person who needs to connect to your iphone so we'll try that one out earlier so you could enter the remote address here and then the history we also have the favorite ids in here and also this icon so if you click onto these three dots then you could add in an alias so you could choose an alias or you could go ahead and type it in there to register it also, you could copy this address to send it out to your friends or family. And then you could also click on the send invitation in here. And it will go ahead and try to open in the different um, things that you could send it to. So you could copy the link, airdrop it, message, mail it, telegram it, or messenger it. So you could choose onto the different things that it offers. And then you could go ahead and share it to your friends. So going ahead here, onto its upper part, this horizontal lines if you click onto this one it will open up the settings so we have here the settings wherein it has a general input security privacy display audio connection and the recording so we also have recordings right after in here so if you have any sessions or recordings so this is where you could find it and also we have here the tutorial on to how to do this so you're just gonna swipe from left or right in here to open the menu single tap for a right click long press for a right click swipe with two fingers to move view pinch with two fingers to zoom in or out and press the keyboard buttons to access additional keys and tap an element twice and swipe to drag and drop objects so going back in here so we also have the help section so it will redirect you to a website wherein you can see the get started the setup buttons the features here onto any desk and many more so you could also see the other platforms that is available onto any desk and you can find in some information on what makes any desk on these platforms different so also we could see in here the fact addresses the common questions in terms of features usage as well as support on related topics and you can search for anything in here that you would like to ask onto any desk 
and then going back here so you could also see in here about any test so that you know what version you're currently in right now the license for that one third-party license information the any desk log open connection the privacy statement and the help center in here and also you could see the different persons who are behind any desk so you could view onto all of its detail in here if you want more information regarding any desk now for us to be able to go ahead and try its connection so we're gonna go ahead and try to connect it to another device that i have in here so for us to be able to do so we're gonna go ahead and type in the remote address so the remote address for that is 1702 then this one so we're just gonna go ahead and click onto that and as you can see the connection is in progress so as you can see onto the other device or the PC that I have in here, this is what it would look like. So it will show in here that iPhone would like to view your desk and it will gonna go ahead and try to um, ask you some different information in here onto what you would like to share. So you could have your default screen sharing, full access and intended access. So you have the option to accept it, two options in here, and then you could dismiss it and you could also give in a message in here. So let's type in high in here and then it should be able to um, receive it onto the other Android device. So you should be able to see it like that. So let's try to do that again. And then you'll just have to accept it. So once you have accept it, as you can see, the tutorial will pop up again. And then you'll just have to go ahead and try to see that. So you could go ahead and access already the um, screen of your device. So as you can see, you should be able to see already in here what the screen looks like and then you could request an evaluation in here and you could also disconnect onto it so you could also do a file transfer if you want to do so so you could go ahead and try to also allow to take control for that so we also have this one to allow to use file manager we also have allowed to use clipboard onto your pc and then we also have allowed to hear sound so this will allow you to hear the sound to turn it off you'll just have to click it again and we also have in here the record the session so to record this you could go ahead and try to do that and then you'll just have to re-click it again so as you can see in here we could also do to allow to draw on screen so if you're allowed to draw on screen then you could go ahead and try to uh, move it to access it using your iphone so this is the um cursor that we have on your mobile device and for the iphone this is the one this is the mouse cursor for that so we could go ahead and try to um, allow to enable privacy mode as well for this. And then we could click onto more to view more options in here onto what you want to do onto the device. So you could click onto draw on my screen and many more. And then if you request elevation in here, then as you can see, it will allow us to wait for authentication. We'll just have to click onto OK for that. We'll click onto yes or no onto the device. And that's just basically it to do that. So we're gonna disconnect for this so for us to be able to do so we'll just have to click on to disconnect again in here to um, close the session so as you can see it has been closed already by the remote user and that's just basically it on how to do that so let's try to um, go ahead and try to reconnect it again so if you're trying to connect onto another device just type in another code in here just try to do that again and then it will automatically give you an access to another device and that's just basically it onto how to use any desk onto iphone if you think this has been helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on to our next video